A program is a set of instructions, is the definition we get when we ask more experienced people what it is. Wikipedia tells us something similar when we search the term computer program, and while this might be true, it doesn't really help us out much. It's similar to phrases like, the sun is yellow. It's because you look at this definition, but then you see the web browser you use to navigate the internet, or that awesome 3D game you play on your phone or console or even Facebook, an app with 2.5 billion monthly active users, and you can't help but think that surely they can't just be sets of instructions, can they? Well, yes, that's exactly what they are. Each and every one of these and other programs you might have used before are just sets of instructions that tell the computer exactly what to do. From a Hello World application that has only a few lines of code to the moon landing, programs are made up of various small yet very specific commands executed in sequence. There may be programs made up of hundreds, thousands or even millions of lines of code. Now that we understand what a program is, we can move one step further to define the art of programming which is nothing more or less than taking bigger ideas and breaking them down into manageable pieces. Or to use the term you're already familiar with, sets of instructions. That's right, each set of instructions, no matter how small it is, can be considered a program, which means some bigger programs are made up of a combination of smaller ones. And by the way, what's amazing is you already know how to break down big ideas into sets of instructions. Our species had to do it for thousands of years, so it's nothing new to us. All we have to do is direct this inborn skill toward a particular problem and then let it do its magic. Let me illustrate this with the following example. Imagine you live in a house in San Francisco and a friend from out of state that you haven't seen in a long time is in a town nearby. The phone rings and your friend is telling you she has just turned off the main road and is asking for directions to your place. As you listen, you immediately imagine the place she is at and mentally trace the path back to you. You know it since you use this exact road every day, but this vision drops into your mind as a single piece. You know exactly what you need to do to get from point A to point Z without thinking about each individual step, but of course, you can't transfer this visualization to your friend the way you see it in your mind. You immediately understand that you need to break down this journey into individual, separate steps for your friend to take if you want her to reach your house. And note that you have to really think about it because when you take this road, it's an autopilot. So you start to think about it because you don't want to look like you have no idea where you live and you mentally transport yourself just off the main road where your friend told you she is. This is the start of the journey and from there you think about the next step she needs to take. Let's say exit to Mission Street and you tell it to her. Then you mentally transport yourself to the end of the first step and think about the next one. Let's assume you tell her to turn slightly left on South Van Ness Avenue then drive 1.7 miles and continue on Van Ness Avenue. After that, she would need to turn left on Lombard Street, right after the Chevron gas station on Laguna Street, left on Bay Street, right on Webster Street, left on Beach Street, and it's the third house on the left. This is a set of instructions your friend needs to follow to the letter if she wants to reach your place. These instructions can each exist on its own, but you know the order in which these instructions are executed is extremely important. Just mix up any of these and your friend might end up on the other side of the city. Drive 5 miles, then turn left will take you to a slightly different place compared to turn left, then drive 5 miles. This might not be the only set of instructions available. There could be other ways to get to your house. There may even be faster ways than the one you normally take. You could even give her directions that will make her tour around the world, visiting every bridge along the way before your friend reaches your place. But those would still be sets of similar small instructions, such as turn right, turn left, take flight, albeit many, many more of them to cover the whole journey. You won't be wrong 
if you think about this example as writing a program. Your set of instructions that take your friend from point A to point Z is a program. Except it's not a machine who's the computer, but your friend. We'll talk about what kind of instructions machines understand in the next video.